a minute to run, run. It only takes a minute to run. Where is he? Where the hell you think he is? Look, this is the wrong damn time to play with me, Lynette. It's the wrong damn time for you to act like I'm Boo Boo the Fool, too. Now, you told me not to let the boy out the house. I ain't gonna let the boy out the house. He been in and out of there for hours. He been coming out of one end or the other. You, you need me to help you, baby? No. Well, your Uncle Lem is here. Come on, sugar. How you doing, man? I'm gonna throw up again. Look, baby. And I swear, sometimes I just want to get the hell out of this city. Where you gonna go? Shit can happen anywhere. <laughs> Especially anywhere you are. I'm still your mama. You watch your tone. Let me get in the streets to see what I can find out. Wait a minute. Where's that thing at? Here, take this. I don't need that. Look, you're about to go around asking questions nobody wants to answer. Now, you take this thing to protect yourself. Well, you know what, baby boy? I think we need some ice cream. I just said y'all gotta stay in the house. I got ice cream in the kitchen. Will you calm your ass down? <sighs> Jesus Christ. Listen, big man, I know you're scared. I'm scared, too. I'm sorry. Oh, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I ain't tell you that to make you feel bad. I want you to know I'm, I'm here. I'm down for whatever. And nobody is gonna hurt you while I'm alive. I mean, but what if you're not here and, and they find me? Then Aunt Nettie will have to bust a cap in somebody's ass. Now I gotta go. All right. Please, do not Bye. let... Now, you be careful, because you're the only pissed-off son I got. Bye, Lynette. All right. Well, you know what? Since we can't go outside, we just gonna have to have the party in here. And we can't have no party without no music now. About now, get on up and dance with your aunt Nettie. Come on, oh, come on, get up and dance now. Take your mind off your troubles. So this guy was fun. Yeah. It's the bathroom. I need to refresh. Mm. Down there. Down there. Hmm. Mm. Are you retarded? What? It's a simple question. Are you retarded? Okay, damn. Listen. No. Here, here's what happened. All right. You're out running errands. I'm uh I had to go get something to eat by myself. All right. Alexis recognizes me, asks for an autograph. And then uh, she started asking me some hockey questions. Next thing you know, we're here. Huh? We're here. Here? Yeah. In Terry's house. You're overreacting just a bit, D. You're acting like a child. And I'm tired of babysitting, OK? Oh, and just be my agent, Damon, and don't be my father. You know what? Go get a room. <laughs> Can't be serious. Come on, man. Take some time to sober your inconsiderate ass up and get a damn room. My credit card. That way, Samantha won't have proof that you were there. 
All right, all right, I'll, I'll make Alexis leave, but just give her a bit of time to sober up, all right? The toilets are nice. Yeah, aren't they? Well, well. Look who's back on the block. Hey! <laughs> What's up, big baller? What's up? Monique and Dolores. You still breaking hearts? What the hell do you want, Lem? <laughs> I need some info. Somebody just got shot in your alley. People always getting shot on the south side. I ain't asking about people, I'm asking about blue. And I'm asking if you realize cutting hair alone doesn't pay the bills. <laughs> Everything's crazy since Filky went to the joint. Crazy. Blue is dealing for Filky and two other young fools named Blaylock and Big Craig. Blaylock? The one that capped Rayfield? Same one. Ask if Blaylock is looking for anybody. What the fuck do you mean, ask her? I'm right here, ask me yourself. Is Blaylock looking for anybody? Don't get cute, motherfucker. And if you're asking such big questions, you better have some bigger precedents. <laughs> Is this big enough? They think when a blue schoolyard runner saw it go down, some kid in a uniform. Thanks. I'm out. Hey, hey, hey. Ain't you got a nephew or something? Someone you know goes to private school, wears a uniform? <laughs> Every other kid in Chicago wears a uniform. And right now, I'm worried about all of them. In fact, right now, I wonder about your safety, too. Go get some rest. I still have to get the kids' lunches ready for tomorrow. Maxine. If Ahmad isn't home by midnight, I'll call the school and tell him he's sick. Maybe I'll say it's the flu. You know what? You're gonna wear yourself out. See if there's any bread in the bread box. Maxine. Lem knows exactly where Ahmad is and how to keep him safe. Okay, I'm sure he'll be home soon. Don't worry, it's just... It's all gonna work out. Terry put Brooke to bed, and I finally got Kelly to go to sleep. Good. <laughs> right, girl. Ooh, she is a mess. Actually took the book from me and said she'd read herself to sleep. 